for second, three for third. Riders fire up their engines as we prepare for SX1. Race two, the sprint race. The 15 second board, not wasting any time. Feel the atmosphere right in and around the stadium. Five second borders turn. Who's it going to be that gets the Oxmoto whole shot award? Another good start from Tomac up the inside there. Oh, and he gets bumped there, and Brayton down. Roxon bumped into Tomac, and uh, Brayton bore the brunt of that as he goes down in turn one. But it's Tomac who leads away. Roxon right there in second. Muscan in third. Or is it Webb? Webb there in third. And then Muscan behind him, then Aranda, then Subaras. There's Tomac and a fired up Ken Roxon. Start their first official full lap from finish line to finish line. Muscan tries to get down the inside of Webb there. See how tough those whoops are starting to become. Some riders losing momentum and having to double their way through. But look at Roxon here. He is going for the number three ahead of him, Eli Tomac. Back end just losing a little bit of traction there as Roxon tries to square up to Tomac, who looks over his shoulder at the end of the rhythm section, sees Roxon there. These two really pulling away as the two Red Bull KTMs start to Beat each, other up and beat each other up in the background. Roxon pushing on hard. This is the first real test for Eli Tomac this evening. And Roxon lets him know he's there. Takes the lead on lap two. Slips underneath the American. Takes the advantage away. What can Roxon do from here? Can he stay there? Fans on their feet. Atmosphere insane around this Paris arena. Webb still hanging on in third place. Muscan in fourth position and Roxon having to go defensive. Will there be a cutback here from the number three? Well, he thought about it. You know what? It might be up his sleeve a little bit later on unless he can get good drive across the wave. But Kenny, Roxon, far too good across the, uh, the whoop section. And just starting to lose ground to the German. Five and a half minutes. Plus a lap then remain in this SX1 sprint race two. Can Roxon pull a position back? Where is Justin Brayton at the moment? Well, he's up to 13. Remember, he went down on the first turn after there was a tussle between Roxon and Tomac and that caught out Brayton, your rider who finished second in the first race. Webb on his own in third. He's broken free from his teammate, Marvin Muscan, who was hoping, and still is hoping, for a fourth King of, Bur uh, King of Paris title this weekend here. Roxon just a little off balance there, just had to give it a little bit of leg swag. Four laps complete. Tomac less than a second behind. Nine tenths that time around, and he was two tenths quicker than the number 94 on that occasion. Triple quad. Little heavy landing there for the number three in second. Just needed a moment to steady himself through that right hand up. Possibly allowed Roxon a little bit of breathing space to the tune of a 10 4 2. But Tomac just starting to close in on him again. Two KTMs, around about three, four seconds, five seconds in Marvin Muscan's case off the lead. But all of a sudden, the battle is back on. The gap half a second between Roxon and Tomac. Marvin Miskan just closing in on Webb ever so slightly as they duke it out over third place. Aranda is fourth. 
Subaru S down in eighth place at the moment. Back markers coming into play for the two leaders ahead of these two. Be interesting to see how that one plays out in the next three, three and a half minutes plus a lap or so. And Marvin Muscan urged on by the home crowd, getting closer to the American web as he looks to, st to steal third position away from the number two. Picture and picture over on the left, first and second, over on the right, third and fourth. Bit of a bobble there for Webb, couldn't get through that turn cleanly. And Muscan, I think, is all over the back of Webb as they go through the whoop section. Not able to find his way through, though. Cuts to the inside. Webb leaves the door open. Muscan goes through. And surely he can control the inside from here. He does and does a little bit more as well. Comes across on Roxon, uh, on uh, Webb. Shuts down the door. Stops the American from gaining an advantage. All of a sudden, Marvin Muscan now on lap seven, back into third place. Still, 2.20 plus a lap to go. Three quarters of a second between first and second as they charge down to start straight. Doesn't look like that from my uh, advantage point as they hit the whoops underneath the Red Bull arch. Serious amount of pressure Ken Roxon is having to deal with here as Tomac tries to close down, whittle down the gap and Muscan down. Muscan down. At the end of the whoops, picks himself up, loses a position or two. Sure, we'll see a replay if we have one, but Cooper Webb now back up in the third place. As Tomac looking to find a way around. I think if he's not found a way past Roxon until the final lap, if he's close enough, it might be in that turn on the approach to the whoops. A-Ray just staying out of the way there. Alex Ray, he's in 12th place. But all of a sudden, Roxon has found another gear. It was three tenths as they hit the line a moment ago. Remember, Roxon third in race one. Watch this here. Marvin Muscan just folded the front and then high-sided as he got into the end of the whoop section. Marvin Muscan now dropping down to fourth. So he still had quite a handy advantage over Gregory Aranda, who still circulates in fifth place. We are going to get a couple more laps out of this, aren't we? Because it's not going to take 38 seconds to get from here to the finish line. Technical track here this weekend in Paris for the 39th edition of the infamous Paris Supercross here in the City of Lights. Tomac pushing on here. There's going to be another lap and a half in this for Eli Tomac. Gets onto the rear wheel, then can't find a way past. Loses a little bit of ground. Roxon switches off. Tomac gets back onto the rear wheel again. There's Subaras. He is in. Uh, he's up in the fourth place now, so he's dispensed of uh, Gregory Aranda. It will be one lap to go next time around as they hit the line. Roxon and Tomac separated by about three or four bike lengths. Here's the 25 of Marvin Muscan. Now in 11th place. So what has happened to Marvin Muscan? Back marker in between Roxon and Tomac, crucially, as they get ready to head into the final lap here. Can't switch off, though. Tomac will not give up until the very last turn. Not close enough to make a move here in the right-hander. Going to have to rely on a mistake through the whoops. There's traffic on the horizon there. Both riders navigate without too much difficulty. See how soft it is as they triple in and land in that landing zone. Soft ruts just starting to pull up. Couple of corners to go then. Kenny Roxon doing everything to let Tomac out of his sights. Forced the issue. Maybe when Tomac wasn't expecting it. Tomac though still closing in on him, but out of the final turn, Roxon wins it by less than a second over Tomac. We wait for Cooper Webb to come through. 
And there was a problem late on in the race for Marvin Muscan, who uh, got lapped as well. He came home in 10th place. So Roxon wins it, Tomac second, Webb on the line now in third. That gap around about 20 seconds between the leaders, Roxon Tomac and Cooper Webb. Celebrations all round though for Kenny Roxon, a very dejected Marvin Muscan. Steps away from his motorcycle. He'll remove his helmet, he'll go back to the... Mixed results then from the SX1 group that time around. Just as we thought things might be, they weren't. So Kenny Roxon gets the better of Eli Tomac, but it's going to be Tomac who continues to lead. Watch your watch happens here. Roxon gets into the inside there. Brayton was already tagged with Muscan, and it was. Uh, mound through that first turn had nowhere to go but down points as they stand heading into the main event then Eli Tomac on three Kenny Robson on four Webb on eight quick replay of the Ox Moto hole shot a little bit of carnage going through that first turn some of the best moments ever. Prisoners this time out. Great shot that from the opening lap. Roxon had already made his move at this point. And Eli Tomac tried, but just didn't have enough. of two mistakes. Didn't see the second one, I don't think, from Marvin Muscan. His teammate. So Ken Roxon then wins race two. So the race is eight minutes plus a lap. Turns out to be a 12.